Hi everyone my name is Pranaya Hire I am a computer science student from Guru Nanak Khalsa College today I am going to tell you about cyber security awareness I will share you fraud cases which are happening every day I will tell how to protect and be aware not to become a victim of these fraudsters without wasting your time let's get started with the video Before starting with cyber security and awareness let us understand why do we need computer security computer security nowadays each and every one uses internet as it provides essential communication between tens of millions of people and is popularly used as tool for e-commerce Therefore security becomes an extremely important issue to deal with it your security means ability to avoid being harmed by any risk danger or threat so in practice it is an impossible goal to achieve so we must have ability to avoid being harmed too much by reasonably predictable risk danger or threat for that two approaches are needed first is active dynamic translant second is passive static and pervasive so the term cyber security is the practice of protecting system networks and programs from digital attacks these cyber attacks are usually aimed at accessing changing or destroying sensitive information extorting money from users or interrupting normal business processes common cases and types of attacks be aware you can be a victim of these attacks malware vivek like any other teenage boy loves to play online games on his phone he usually downloads the free games available at a trusted market zone one day he got an sms click here to get the latest paid games online for free excitedly he clicked on the link downloaded and installed the game unknowingly to him These games had a malicious part that allowed the attacker to take control on his phone and made it unusable. This was a drive by download attack and due to his oversight Vivek's phone was infected with the malware. Yes, malware can be a virus, worm or trojan horse that can come to you through use of unlicensed software, unknowingly downloading free but untrusted software programs or through the use of infected pen drives, storage card, etc. <laughs> I know you are wondering how to be safe. Never click unfamiliar links or download unfamiliar content. Keep your computer system updated with a good antivirus software. Ignore any mails or invites which comes from unknown sources. Always scan the shared drives before using it. Phishing. Ram received an email. Congratulations, you have won a lottery. Paisa hi paisa ho gaya. Wasn't that tempting the message said dear winner kindly view your lottery it meant that he has won the lottery the message said that he must immediately reply to the lottery official to claim lottery amount in his excitement ram shared all the required personal information including his bank account number ifsc code telephone number and all the other detail that were asked in the email it was only later that he realized that this was a scam message which could use this personal information in an unethical way the fraudsters obviously attempted to make the email appear genuine and convince him what should you do follow some simple rules remember you cannot win a lottery you have not participated in do not trust random messages or those containing obvious mistakes always check the sender's email address lottery organization will not message from the mail services phishing attacks are sent via email and ask user to click on a link which redirects to a dummy site where an attacker wants victim to enter the personal data or respond to an email which will steal all your personal information in some cases a user has to just click on the link spoofing ramesh an employee of government of maharashtra received an email claiming it to be from director of a ministry this email had a document as an attachment stating the form in the document should be filled immediately ramesh following the orders quickly open up the attachment to fill in all the details after some time to his surprise he found that many of the file in his computer were locked and encrypted 
the computer displayed a message stating that he has to pay up in order to get back his file and documents. Upon investigation, it was found that sender's address was a spoof one. Email spoofing is the forgery of an email header so that the message appears to be have originated from someone genuine whereas it is actually not. The virus here was ransomware which encrypted many important files on the computer and did not allow him to access. As the name suggests, the attacker demands for a ransom means money in order to unlock and restore the files. If this happens to you, what should you do? Check the email address before you open an attachment. Do not open the mail if you do not recognize the sender. If you suspect any suspicious, call the sender to verify the mail. Keep a backup of important files and documents. Do not proceed to pay even if you are infected. Ask an expert. Always keep your computer updated with a good antivirus software. How can you avoid all these attacks? First of all, be aware of cyber security. For device and computer security, update your computer. Change password at regular intervals. Use safe internet browsing. Avoid visiting unsecure websites. Use safe internet banking. For email account security, do not click emails from unknown addresses. For password security, keep a strong password and keep changing periodically. Hope you enjoyed my video and gained some knowledge about cybersecurity awareness. I hope you will practice this in your daily life. Thank you.